Belgium is a small country with great public transport links, and those working in Brussels can choose to live outside the city. A great alternative are places like Antwerp, Ghent, Bruges, General or Urban which are more wallet-friendly budget and rental prices are lower than in Brussels. There are many things to consider in your decision between renting or buying a property in Belgium. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions. Applying for a property to rent is less competitive than in other European countries. The wide choice of properties is available, and you can view properties without worrying that they'll be taken immediately by other tenants. In fact, most times you have the opportunity of viewing the property twice before making the decision. Most houses are offered unfurnished. It's worth checking with the landlord what condition the property will be in, as unfurnished might mean that there are no carpets or even basic electrical appliances. Tenants in Belgium you have rights which are legally protected but to take advantage of these rights, you must register your contract with the local authorities. Clear regulations often make renting an attractive option. For example, it's difficult for a house owner to evict a tenant and only for a good reason. A landlord must give tenant over six months notice to move and only if he intend to live himself or a family member or to undertake major refreshment works. On the other hand, a tenant has the right to request lease extension, and if his landlord refuses, a tribunal is decided. Of course, a new owner must respect any existence rental contracts in place. Standard rental contracts are short term, up to 3 years, 9 years, from 3 to 9 years in duration and long term, over 9 years. This means that the contract is drawn up for 9 years but is subject to review, and a possible rent increase, every 3 years. In addition, landlord can increase the rent every year in line with an inflating cost of living. Most rental agreements are long term. This, coupled with the fact that tenants have a lot of impact on how the property is maintained and decorated, means that they get a lot of independence and security. What's more, tenants, have a lot of responsibilities, as outlined in the rental agreement, for example to maintain the property in a good condition by making repairs, clearing the gutters, painting, and more. It's worth to negotiate on the rental cost and ask what fees are required for maintenance, what the usual utilities costs are, getting a better view of the cost of the property. Deposits are generally three months of rent and tenant should keep a record of the repairs he made and keep the receipts, making sure that he could receive the deposit back when the time comes to move. It is important to be aware that landlord has the right to hold a part or all the deposit if the property has not been properly maintained. Keep in mind that, to finalize a rental agreement you will need to provide information on your identity, employment, and residency. You will also need to sign several copies of a formal written tenancy agreement and your rental agreement must be registered. If you have found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions.